Hey guys, it's Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. I'm not really Lexi, but... Uh, for this week's video, we are going to be trying out viral TikTok recipes. Fall edition. So today, we're making... We're making... What is it called? Crack chicken chili, I think. Like, crack is in the drug, or crack is in... As we need a strainer. Two chicken breasts into the crock pot first. One can of whole kernel corn. What? Whole kernel corn. Then one can of organic beans. Right in there. You just flung beans. Dude, I hate when you get your juices everywhere. <laughs> Apparently a common problem. That's bean juice, not my juice. Did we mention that this is apparently a really simple recipe? Then a can of diced tomatoes. A cup of this, I think, maybe? Both. Oh, two cups of chicken broth. Then two cups of chicken broth. Hold, please. No, I have a cup. I have a measuring cup. Why are you on top? I was gonna get the two cupper. Oh, we'll just do two of these. That makes two cups. Mm -hmm. Then we do a ranch seasoning packet. She does like scoops out of like a jug because she's like way more advanced than us, but she says it equals a packet. Oh, perfect. Okay, then what's next, Mom? I'm deciding that I want to talk in a southern accent because she does too. Got that part, got that part, got that part. Got that part, got that part, got that part. One tablespoon of chili powder. Dude, I could just do, no, I could just do two halves. Never mind. Here, just do this. What do you do if it doesn't fit? Age. Age? Wisdom. She's not smarter than me. Oh, yes I am. Don't spill it. Then we oh, do one, one of these. teaspoon. Two A teaspoon? I don't know. <laughs> so, one teaspoon. Oh my gosh. Stop. Help first. We forgot something. What did we forget? Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's get it. Hang on. Okay, now back to work. We got, got our hairnets. Hair I'll link the hairnets down below. It's all. I have my food handler's permit, and they always <laughs> they tell me to wear one of these every time I cook. One teaspoon cumin. Cumin. Keep it PG. No, it's PG fourteen. It's M. Oh, it's M. <laughs> Mature <laughs> for M audiences. One, and then one of the onion powder. One teaspoon. Boom. Teaspoon. Boom. <laughs> one teaspoon of onion powder. Fill now, it. one brick of cheese cream. Philadelphia cream cheese. It doesn't have to be Philadelphia. It could be California. <laughs> it could be Utah. It could be, there could be a lot of places. And but Lexi we just, just chose this one. Cheese cream. And it's actually oh. <laughs> cream cheese. <laughs> Did I say cheese cream? Yeah, she is dyslexic. <laughs> this is true. Cream cheese, my bad. Then, I think that's it. Is that it? This is kind of tight around my ears. Do I just leave that like that? Yeah. All right. You're not going to get that stirred in. Oh, oh, bacon. I got it. Okay. Five slices of bacon cooked up, crumbled into the pot. Giving me a little bit of a headache. We particularly like this big bag of bacon Costco. from Costco. If you don't buy bacon from Costco, you're cheating yourself. We're gonna make seven pieces because if the dog smells that we made bacon and we didn't give her one, she'll be mad at us the rest of the day. She'll be really left out. A minute 24 in the microwave, perfect. Okay, sorry man. Mom just crushed the bacon. And look. <laughs> you crushed it. So, put that in there for three hours, and then you let it cook on what? Medium, high, small? Um, I'm just gonna cook it on the high for three hours. All right, we will see you in three hours. In three hours. We're back. It is three hours later. I am prepping for the side dish. I am going to shred the chicken. Hell yeah, you are. Okay, now we're making the uh, biscuit things. We didn't actually have the biscuits that they called for, so we're improvising and we're using the Pillsbury croissant rolls. <laughs> Is it crescent rolls or croissant rolls? Crescent. I think, at least that's what I say. I am adding the sharp cheddar cheese. 
I've cut up the stuff. <laughs> the biscuits. Those are crescent rolls. But then, the person just says some in the video, so I'm gonna put some butter in the microwave. Melted butter? Pour it over your mixture. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be swimming. <laughs> okay. Then, he did sprinkle chives, like, out of the can, but we're so we are gourmet. way more sophisticated than that. We don't even own those. So but we do own, for the first time probably ever, we had real chives. So I took that big ass K-N-I-F-E, that's how you spell it, right? K-N-I-F-E, that's good. Makes a mom proud. And I chopped those little suckers up, pour them in there. More ranch seasoning. Again, just some. Some cheddar cheese. Parmesan. It's just freshly grated at the store. Should look something like this. Doesn't look that good. Then you get out one of these things, spray, and then scoop a little bit into the thing. You should probably do like some cool pattern on that because we're not gonna have enough to fill them all. We're just way skinny. <laughs> so, we don't make that much. We did an eye for... I love you. I like that ass. You stick it in the microwave. I mean, what is it called? <laughs> oven, oven for until they're brown. So just put them in the oven until they're done. Just soften the butter. And while that was softening, I made some chef hats. <laughs> so do a half cup of sugar, half cup other sugar. <laughs> Pulled these suckers out of the oven. Dash of pure vanilla. Then uh, one egg. One egg. You can't do it on the side. I did. Ow! Holy sh! You don't even know how to crack an egg. One cup of pumpkin. Two cups of flour. Wait, you gotta do it right. Oh my gosh. One tablespoon cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and then a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. A little bit of salt. <laughs> then a teaspoon of baking powder. Oh, that was good. Maybe my training is working. I've been in burping training for a few months now because my mom can burp really good and I can't and it really makes me upset. Then you're taking one of these scoopers. Scoop it onto a parchment pan. Look, yum. Okay, now I'm gonna put these in for 11 minutes. We just scooped the soup, that's what it's called. I'm gonna put it in a bowl and then crumpled some tortilla chips and Orange topped chips. it with cheese and got some of our little biscuit thing biscuit things. Now we're going to gonna try the soup and try the biscuit stuff while the cookies are cooling. Ooh, they look pretty cute. Our right, little biscuits. They look like they got cooked a little long. Cheers. I like it. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Those are good. Mm -hmm. What would you rate the soup out of a 10? I actually give it like a solid eight. Except for the okay. stringy cheese that's left on my face. What is missing to make it a 10? Some spice? No, it's, I think I personally could use a little more heat. Spice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. I would give this soup probably a seven point Three and a half. I say three and a half because the stringy cheese doesn't lose a full point. But if it's not stringy, then it's not real cheese. I know, but I'm just saying like, it doesn't take away the taste, it's just a little bit of a buzz kill when you have your cheese on your eyebrow. I took a whole point away because it could use more spice. Mm -hmm. And then the last point would just be, have the tomato chunks just a little bit diced or. I like them like that. No. The biscuit croissant rolls. Cool, ours, I would probably give ours like a 6.8. <laughs> because the point two is just because I overcooked them. But, but I think the place, the 
maybe too much butter made them kind of crispier. Could have been. I took a full point and a half away because they're supposed to be dipping rolls, but you dip it in and since they're already like chunky, they the fall chunk apart. falls out. Yeah. So it's, you can dip them. See, I just lost it again. I'm taking it down to a six five. Look what I did. Back to a six eight. <laughs> you just gotta be smarter than the rolls. But then the other point and a half that I took away, I'd probably just say because we used crescent rolls instead of biscuits. So that's our fault. What do you rate the rolls, Mom? I get up on them a five. And give us the reasoning. They're kind of chewy. Are they? Mine's kind of crispy. Just the cheese in there that got hard is kind of chewy. Five for me. But if we did them right, maybe it'd be higher, but I don't know. I'm not a huge roll person. Dipper. I don't understand She's how. Dipper. All right, we're gonna enjoy this. We'll see you guys when the cookies are cooled. Now we're gonna make the frosting for the cookies. A little bit of butter, drop of vanilla, a little bit of cinnamon, and then a little bit of pumpkin spice seasoning. Then a little splash of milk, then some powdered sugar. That came out so fast. This one's mine. Cheers. Mmm. Those are good. I would give it maybe like a 9.4 and a half. I think I'm gonna give it a 9 because this would be better with walnuts. That is all for today's video. If you made it this far, comment down below. How about a pumpkin? A pumpkin. Comment down below a pumpkin. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. <clears throat> Follow us on Instagram. Yeah, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye, guys. Good shit. Good shit. <laughs> my lashes are stuck. Oh, shit, that's good lighting.